Smith & Wesson M&P 5.7 just came out. Pretty rad gun, actually. Chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter. Many of you know 5.7 by 28 because it's what's used in the P90, and it's known for being able to puncture body armor. However, most civilian available rounds aren't going to be able to punch through body armor, much less an Italian SEP2 Kevlar helmet, which is what we have today for our very scientific test. Spear Gold Dot 5.7, which is a hollow point. I don't expect it to do much. This typically will not go through even soft body armor like a bulletproof vest. SS198, this is an armor piercing round, but it's also an armor piercing hollow point. Not as much penetration as the Mac Daddy of 5.7 rounds. SS190, this is the ultimate steel penetrator 5.7 round. This is some pretty hardcore shit. And if you want to see what a $500 box of ammo looks like, you're looking at it. If you want to find this stuff somewhere like on Gunbroker, you're looking at basically 10 bucks a round. Kind of a jip, but I bet it's gonna go through both sides of this helmet and the Louisiana honeydew in between. Let's find out. We're gonna start with Spear Gold Dot. I think this is 40 grain. Yep, 40 grain, 5.7, hollow point versus the Italiano SEP2 helmet. Ryan, you ready? Mm -hmm. And away we go. Oh, square hit. That's as good as it gets. The thing didn't even effing move. Wonder what happened? Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know, it smells. It smells like burning over here. Kind of like when I vacuum the house. Ooh, ooh, I, I felt there's, we got a little bit of a ding on this side. Look at that. So our honeydew says, honey, don't try me. Am I right? And look at that. So this is similar performance to what we've seen with like level two armor where it's like, it is tiny entrance hole. It, it really effed it up on this side, but no penetration whatsoever. You've got kind of this hard surface. You've got Kevlar lining in the middle. Um, and then you've got hard surface on the inside. Um, it really didn't do much at all. SS-198 armor piercing hollow point green tip. This is, in my experience, the second most penetrative, is that a word? The second most penetrative 5.7 uh, round. This will go through level 3A armor in my testing. Let's see how it does in this helmet. We switch sides of the helmet, so we've got a fresh side versus our honeydew. You ready, Ryan? All right, that one hit a little low, but good enough. So, low hit. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Wow. That is a doozy. Look at that. Just went right through, really effed this helmet up. Holy smokes. Then went through. Now it didn't go through both sides of the cantaloupe. It probably went in, deflected downward, and then uh, kind of came out in our honeydew. I bet it's still in there. I bet at the end of this, we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna see if we can get that round out of there. But in the meantime, let's try the real madman we're gonna get the SS-190, and we're gonna really screw this thing up. All right, the madman, right here. Steel Penetrator 5.7. This has gone through, in my testing, low-end level three hard plates, and I think it's gonna blow through maybe even both sides of this helmet. We're shooting at the back side of the helmet. I'm gonna try to hit it maybe a little bit high, so we can see if it goes through both sides, but it's definitely, mark my words, definitely going clean through the back of this helmet and through that honeydew at least. Ready? Oh wow, there was a lot of energy there. That's the first time we've actually seen this helmet, boom, like kick up. Oh, we got some gore. So look at this. These holes are from hardware that was on the other side of the helmet. There's our hole right next to uh, the one that was already there. Let's see what happened here. Oh, wow. 
Oh no. Oh no. Dunn got it. Oh no. Oh, it got messy. It got messy. And it may have. Oh, yep. What did I tell you? All the effing way through. Nice and clean, too. Look at that. So it went through the back, clean hole, through this effing honeydew, through the inside, like the hard inside. I mean, guys, this is not a very soft helmet. All the way through that, and then a pretty neat exit hole. So we don't even know where this thing is. Wow. That's really impressive. Let's do it again. SS 190 armor piercing point blank against this helmet. Good night, sweet prince. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was juicy. Like I felt that. Um, wow. Oh no. That's not what you want to see if that's your head. <laughs> look, look, there's the gold dot here. Roll this, Ryan. So there's the gold dot round, by the way. Now that we've shot the shit out of this helmet, we managed to salvage it, but that's what that looks like. And it did not go through even one side of the helmet. We just shot it right there and it hit and it took a sharp turn downwards, put a hole in our garbage can and then ripped out that way. Oh my God. <laughs> Am I one piece? All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, so that did it. Look at that. Hole there. Got it. it. And it smells like burning again. And then hole right there. Never stood a chance. I mean, it's it's just clean. You can see it just it, it's like a laser. That is a clean entrance and exit. It might have been able to go through two of these for all I know. Pretty crazy stuff.